it's time to welcome the athletes out onto the field of play as Vecmuller is going to take on Gazos for the bronze here in Lillishaw. Representing Germany, Maximilian Fechtmüller. <laughs> On target number two, representing Turkey, Mete Gazos. <laughs> Your line judge for this match. Is Manuela Casho. So there we have it. Uh, Max Vecmuller from Germany on target well, number yeah, one, shaking uh, hands with the Olympic Germany. champion and from Takia, as we are now two. to call it. We'll shoot first Previously known as Turkey, set. Mete Gazos. Gazos shot a 6.73 in the ranking round, ranked second for the competition. Vekmuller shot a 6.52, ranked 21st. Gazos to start the match and uh, starting immediately with a, what was it, a warm-up, Chef? I think so, yeah. It was just to get the, the muscles in the right uh, set, um, which is something that I've also... Uh, tried to do and 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 uh, saw if it worked for me but for me it didn't do anything uh, but there's definitely people who need something like that who need something to get their muscles going Oof, what a start. Nine. So the door opens a tiny bit, but the way Vecmil is shooting, I think the door could... Oh. I was about to say it could be smashed through, but in fact, they share the points, uh, one set point apiece. But what a high quality start. Uh, Chef, just going back to that um, routine, that process from Gazos right at the beginning, that uh, initial stretch. I mean, a long time ago, when I was an athlete, I also had a thing that I did right at the beginning of uh, every uh, match I went into. Mm -hmm. I'd not seen that from Gazos before. Is that just because it's not been picked up by a camera, or is that because he's just started to do it? Well, I don't want to speak for him, um, but for me, I noticed that when I was... Uh, I, I'm going to sound older than I am right now, but when I was younger, uh, I could get away without uh, any warm-up. And then gradually, I needed to do a little bit of warm-up to just get started, and then... The, the more I shot and the older I got, um, the more warm-up I needed before being competition ready. Um, and maybe Meta is experiencing a similar thing because he is, what is he now, 24, 25, something like, like that. So um, it's he's getting to an age where you need to start thinking about that kind of stuff um, if you want to perform at the highest level. Whereas if you're a teenager, you can get away with almost everything well he's 23 gazos so okay. still still a youngster but uh, my feeling is that's a, a process driven thing rather than uh, a physical thing nine. he starts uh, set oh, number maybe. two with a nine we can have an yeah, argument also... about that later 
Uh, I, I'm purely speculating. If you say it's a, a process thing, then and I believe you. <laughs> Who says I'm right, though? That's the question. Uh, but no, it just feels it feels to me that that's uh, you're going to be warmed up when you go out there, right? Yes, I suppose. But you do have uh, a bit of waiting to do, and you have to stand around and do nothing for a bit. So. Yeah, that's a very, very good point. Well, I hope all of you are looking forward to a season of me and Chef arguing. <laughs> as we should be talking about uh, the archery, the fantastic archery that's going on, because uh, that's what you've got ahead of you this season. Three nines uh, for Gazos for a 27, following up the 29 he scored in the first set. A chance here for Vekvilla to take the lead. Oh, my goodness me. I wasn't expecting that, Chef. No, I was looking at this thinking, oh, Max has this. Well, curious. As you and I were bickering, these two were trying to fight it out for the bronze medal, and... Um, a 27 from Gazos left the door open for this man, Max Vekmuller, but then he shot high into the seven. I, I, did you see anything wrong in particular with the shot? Not necessarily, but I have to admit that I was not paying attention that well. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Not if you not not if you want to stay in a job. I'm afraid. Uh, it it looked like a. It looked like a reasonable shot, but here it is, and uh, it looked like a fairly comfortable shot, but well, yeah. he immediately Max looked away, and he looked three. surprised. So yeah. is that aim? Oh, there was a, a little bit of left shoulder creeping up, but typically uh, for a right-handed archer that makes your arrows go low left rather than straight up. Um, maybe a little bit of compensation going on for something that didn't happen. There, there's too many uh, variables to know for sure what went wrong there, but the um, fact is that he didn't expect his arrow to go that high. Well, it has meant that uh, the Olympic champion Meta Gazos leads 3-1 as we go into set number three. Good recovery from Max Vekmuller. See, it almost looked to me as if he was trying to pull that arrow down, so he was aiming too high. But that's the thing, right? We cannot see where they're aiming. So they can shoot a perfect shot, but aim in the six, and then it'll land in the six, and we'll think, hmm, how, how did that happen? Eight. Oh, another massive opportunity here, but yeah, I understand what you're saying. Maybe we need to have some kind of glasses cam or something. <laughs> yeah. Nine. And even then, uh, I mean. Well, Mete's first arrow there, only millimeters away from the cross in the very center of the target there. He's I've got to say, I'm. There, I'm not baffled that Gazos is leading this, but I'm baffled by the last two sets and the final arrow from Vekmuller when he's been shooting so yeah. well 10 9 10 9 and then shoots an eight in that last set and a seven in the set before is that i know i keep asking you these these questions and it's it's silly to some extent but but is it pressure is it is it tension or is it uh concentration consistency issues yeah i it, it looks to me as if he's a bit nervous for this match and uh, as would be normal shooting against the reigning Olympic champion, but um, yeah, it's difficult to say. Uh, 
it, it might well be pressure because that's that's the only logical reasoning that I can come up with right now because his shots look kind of similar to the shots that do go into the middle um, and I don't see a reason for them to go so far out of the center so yeah let's call it pressure and uh, if it's incorrect maybe Max will uh, correct us he'll write to you on Facebook or another social media channel is Facebook still alive yeah. do people use that uh, I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm showing my age. Uh, Vec Miller here. 5 1 down. That's the way to start when you're training. Yeah. Okay, so some promise here for the German. Gazos staying calm and controlled and uh, just adjusting his sight. Very good from Vekmuller. We've got a match on our hands here. Bit of a longer hold from Gazos. Oh, this is painfully long. How does he pull a nine out of that? Well, his technique is good enough to not lose too much strength in a longer hold. Fantastic shot there from Vec Muller for his biggest score and puts the match into a fifth set for sure. Good recovery from the previous shot, a uh, bit of a rehearsal, but 5-3. Uh, the experience playing a part here now, or is it because he was so far down, Vec Muller just thought, well, I've just got to go for it, I've just got to shoot and just relax? Yeah, well, I think that's the best way to go into a match anyways. Um, but, yeah, I think uh, from my experience, it's also after a couple of shots or after a couple of ends, depending on the situation, you kind of calm down and you uh, relax a bit more. But I don't know if that's uh, that's always the case. How nice is it but, to talk about archery rather than shooting archery and having all that pressure on you? <laughs> it's definitely uh, uh, less weight on the shoulders sitting here rather than standing over there. Do you miss it? Do you miss shooting? Do you miss the, the, the uh, thrill of competition? That is uh, two different questions <laughs> and also two different answers. So yes, I miss shooting. But no, I don't necessarily miss competition. But now it's more like a time constrained thing where I don't have enough time to shoot as much as I would like to. Um, but I have other hobbies that take less time and I also really enjoy. So. And well, I get we to do certainly this enjoy, We certainly enjoy you commentating. It's a great pleasure to have you uh, in the team for the coming season. Vec Muller. Fighting back against Gazos, still trails by five points to three, and starts set number five with a nine. That's opened the door for Gazos here. Well, another nine for a 28. 
versus 26, and that will do it. Seven points to three for Mete Gazos, and the Olympic champion has taken the bronze medal here at the first leg of the European Grand Prix, ahead of heading into his home 